you don't choose Villa, Villa chooses you. I became a Villa fan and have been diehard since then. That's what matters the most right here, right? They are the greatest club in the world. I have a Jordan Amavi jersey. I need to, you know, represent my boy. Come on, up the Villa. Up the Villa. Who do you think Villa's player of the season is going to be? I think it's going to be Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins. That's what I was kind of thinking, too. Dark Horse. Morgan Rogers. Ollie Watkins. Probably Ollie Watkins. I'd say Ollie, too. I mean, good picks. He's going to be hard to beat. Emi Buendia. Emi Buendia. I would love that comeback story for him and, and for all of us. Gonzo. I think he'll finally show what we know in the Champions League. He's so understated and so underrated, and he's the best player we've had for some time. I'm going to say Ezri Kanza is going to be player of the year this season. I mean, Watkins is going to get his 20 goals this season finally. He should have had it last year, but wasn't able to score in the last few games. I just heard Kanza because he said, we'll see what we always knew about Ezri Kanza, but everyone we play in the Champions League will see it. I like Kanza as an answer, but overall, I'm going, if I had to pick one, I'm going Ali Watkins. I mean, if Ali scores another 20, if he scores 20 goals, he'll get it again. Outside of Emmy Martinez. Martinez. I think everyone kind of also like takes Emmy for granted right now because we know he's the world's number one. Emmy Martinez. That's a good pick. He had a great year last year. Oh, got to support. Yeah, is, is he your favorite player on the team? Yeah. What do you think when Villa goes to penalty shootout? What are you thinking about? Because I always think Villa's going to win. We have Emmy, yeah. right? Yeah. Morgan Rogers. Morgan Rogers. That's a really popular pick, man. Like, he's been tearing it up in preseason. I'm kind of thinking the same thing. Toss up between Watkins and some of our new fresh veterans we got coming in. Who is the most random villain you can name? Danny Drinkwater. Frederick Gilbert. That's pretty good. A recent one, but very random because he never really played for us, kind of sadly. Leandro Bakuna. Oh, my God. Oh, that, that's a good one. That's a good one, mate. Jemba Jemba. That could be a winner tomorrow. We had we had Leandro Bakuna. That was a good one too. But Alexander Tonev's in a bomba. Tonev. What about Libor Kozak? He got his pants pulled down. Jordan Amavi. I have a Jordan Amavi jersey. I no never way. wear. That era of players that that, era. that we signed him and they never panned out. I'm a duo, Nana. He's not random. He's right there. I would say Whalen. Glenn Whalen. Yeah. yeah. Only reason why I know that is because I have I have his uh, kit. I was able to find <laughs> it on eBay for like 30 bucks. He just kind of came to Villa, did what he had to do, missed that penalty, and we got Dean Smith. The rest right. is history. Yeah. Yeah. Sessa Kerchich. Charles Inzaglia. I saw him score a free kick at Villa Park. Must have been one of like his four goals for the club. First time I was at Villa Park, man. Killing in the MLS the last couple seasons. Carlos Hill. Carlos Hill. Ashley Westwood also in the MLS with Dino now. Bjarnason. Berkey Bjarnason. <laughs> I saw him play at this stadium, Iceland versus Peru. That's a great That's pick, Connor. Thank you, man. That's great. The guy who was so good, they named him twice. Jemba Jemba. Jemba Jemba. That's yeah. a great shout. What is your favorite Aston Villa kit of all time? It's got to be the loot kit. Definitely Definitely my favorite. Closely followed, obviously, by the European Cup winning kit as well. The white with the claret stripes in it. Those two are probably yeah, my standout yeah. ones. Promotion kit from a, a few years back. The home kit and the away kit. Both my favorites. You just saw so. the away, the yep. away right there. That's a great one. The third is also a good one. Yeah, the third is a great one too, and it's super hard to find. Those three kits by Luke are my three favorites. 1995 Muller 1995. kit. Yeah. Oh, the green one? No, the uh, the claret blue oh, one. White and black uh, minor copies, Umbro. That's a classic too. And the green Mueller. Green Mueller. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. It's got to be this year's kit. This We're is a both. glorious kit. <laughs> yeah, look at it. We both got the Champions League yeah. badge. Why do you support Aston Villa? I'm very old, so this was way back when it was easier to support Aston Villa in the 1980s. And of course, I'm from the UK, so it starts there. Moved around the world, but you don't move clubs. I just picked them randomly. Just started watching ESPN on Saturday mornings. One of the team that was ever present in the Premier League, and Villa were one of them. I went to London on vacation in 2008, and I went to a Fulham versus Villa game at Craven Cottage. Gabby Egbon Lahore scored two goals and I became a Villa fan and been diehard since then. My dad was a Villa fan. Probably started 15, 20 years ago and ever since then it was always on the TV on the weekends and just got locked in ever since. So I'm dating their sister. Now we're just diehard Villa fan. I mean you don't have a choice? No, I don't. Can't root for anyone else. Villa's an adventure, right? It's easy to support one of the top four but it's not so easy to support Villa and now we're getting the momentum that we deserve. So for those of us who have been on the journey Now's our time. I lived in Birmingham for four years. So you went to Villa Park? Uh, no, I was too no. young. So you have to go back to go to Villa yeah. Park. I fell in love with Villa back when uh, Gabby at Bungalore, Darren Bent. Yeah, Ashley Young had just left. I had just fell in love with Villa a few years before then and saw like Egbon Lahore in Chicago got Darren Bent's autograph on a shirt that sadly I no longer have anymore. I mean, it's been quite the journey, obviously. Had the ups, had the downs, but it's, it's really been up the last season and I, I think it only goes more up from here. I think. It only gets better. How did the club find you or how did you find uh, the club? So when 
I first started watching soccer, my dad was on a trip to England for work. He came home with a jersey. It was a Villa jersey. Since then, I started watching. Hey, that's a good find from him. Would he, but he supported Villa or just randomly picked no, it up? Or? Work, work visit. He picked me up a soccer jersey because I knew I liked soccer. Oh, that's awesome, man. I love it. I love it. I went to Europe when I was 17, so when I came back, I was so interested because everyone around my age had on kits here, United kits, everything. I was like, man, I got I to gotta check it out. So I go on YouTube. Obviously, YouTube wasn't as big as it is now. One of the first people I saw was Brad Guzan. And I was like, wow, an American playing in England. And ever since then, it's been built all the way. Since I was very young, I, I was born in Aston. So that's my club, you know, all the time since Amazing. I was born. The whole family's Villa fans became a Villa fan. You don't, become a, you don't become anything else. Once we started getting English highlights over here, I just, that was a team I picked. It's come a long way since then, being able to watch Villa. I, I remember it wasn't always so easy. Now I, I say the United States is the best country in the world to watch football. We have so much of it on TV. I think some people don't appreciate it in England. If it's a 10 a.m. or 3 p.m., 10 a.m. here kickoff, that game is going to be blacked out and you won't be able to see it, but we could watch all of them. So I've been supporting Villa for 15 years now, 15 long years, but we're finally at the peak of those 15 years. Of 13 pretty season. pretty tragic years and like two amazing years. Like, right, right, exactly. And I started supporting Villa after reading about them in this book, this football book about this guy who was choosing which club he was going to support. He wrote about Villa in this tiny part of the book and just the way that he described the club's history, the atmosphere at the match, etc. Just it drew me in. As they say, it's like you don't choose Villa, Villa chooses you. And it was definitely the case for me in that way. I'm here with Daniel. Daniel, pleasure to meet you. Thank you for supporting the content. I see you've got a signature on your shirt who signed your villa shirt tyrone mings tyrone mings what a legend i'm so excited for tyrone mings to be back very excited it's been a while since without him it's been a while we've, we've really been missing him i've been love, see, loving his his attitude seeing his recovery he's gonna come back buendia i see a buendia shirt over there buendia is gonna be back hopefully play a part tonight daniel how long have you been supporting aston villa about a year actually i went to their premier league summer series game and when he signed me i just became a mega fan that was the first game you went to where was it philly orlando we came up to visit my family so you came up here all the way to see the villa yeah so yeah yeah, you've been you've been following the club only for a year like what's that what's that like because I think some of us Villa longer standing Villa fans hasn't been always a great time but this last year was amazing yeah it's very it's very great I mean I know about the club's history and I know we've had some bad seasons but this one has been extraordinary and I'm very excited for the next one actually what's kind of been your favorite thing about like discovering the Villa and learning more about the history and all that stuff just its fans the overall community why should other people support Aston Villa because it's just a great club great players great people great everything yeah great community man that's yeah. what it's all about come on up the Villa, up the villa. Paul Jack nice to meet you nice. and you're a big Matty Cash fan or a big Poland nice. fan or all, all in one I'm Polish. I'm Polish so yeah of course I need to you know represent my boy hopefully we get his jersey if so I'm gonna be very happy I saw Luca Dean give his shirt away the other night so you know it's possible I've seen I've seen it happen it's preseason that's kind of what it's all about you got a good seed by the pitch yeah uh, where, where are we sitting in the corner I think he takes corners on the right no he might he might yeah so yeah we're, we're in the corner. well if he sees you during the game like you got a good chance so yeah, yeah. from the field I think so. All right. All hopefully right. you're gonna make it. Do you follow Villa otherwise, or you know mostly Cash? No, nah, just Cash. He's he's my you know he's my man. I love it. Uh, well, enjoy the game. I'm here with Andrew. Andrew, great to finally nice meet to you in person. That. Thank you for supporting the content. I see you've got the new kit. How did you come about this? How'd you get it? Online purchase, minute release. Minute release. Was it like? Two, two in the morning? Yeah. That's a dedication of, of Aston Villa fans. That's what it's all about. What's it like seeing Villa out in the States, out in America? For the first time seeing them live, it's pretty nice. I mean, I've been to a couple of New England Revolution games, but nothing tops Villa. How long have you supported the Villa? About five years now. Josh, I see you in this brand new Aston Villa kit. How did you get it? Thankfully, I wake up early every day, and because of the time difference, I actually was very lucky. So when I got up, it was already on sale. By the time I got to work, it was sold out. So I pretty much lucked out. So you got a first day, express shipping, regular DHL, shipping? DHL, pay a lot of money. Sometimes it's worth it. You know, now you're at the game here in New York. Get to see the villa in your new kit. And who's on the back? Watkins. Cup printing, right? Yeah, Champions League printing. I love these numbers. It's like a custom name set for the club, obviously. Champions League. You don't have to wear the Premier League name and numbers. And there's the pro version too. I can see right, you got so, that. Right, right. The elite version. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's you, you, nice. You can see that detail on the crest. And obviously you got the that's what matters the most right here, right? Man, I've been waiting my whole life as a Villa fan to have a shirt with the star balls on it. That's just such a special feeling, man. I'm so happy for you. It's one I'm gonna keep forever, for sure. Ryan, you just told me you've recently started supporting Villa. What made you fall in love with the club and what's that journey been like? I think it's the history of the club and I found out like my family's from the Midlands 
Bones originally, so I was like looking at clubs, found Villa, and like just started supporting them. I was a little scared at first, it was during the Gerard years, and okay. then Emery came on, obviously like very fortunate time to be supporting Villa. Who's your favorite villain then of all time, or I guess that, you, that you've seen? It's got to be the meatball, John McGinn. Have you been over to Villa Park? I have not. Hope to one day. The last tour met some great guys from Birmingham, and they okay. offered to let me stay there the next time I'm there, so hopefully make it work soon. The Villa family's amazing. Like, I've been over a couple times, and every time I'm there, like, just meeting so many more people that I've known from the internet. So we're here at the Globe Pub, home of the Chicago Villains, with Simon Leach, who's the chairperson of the Chicago Villains. Did you start the Chicago Villains Club? No, no. Uh, I took it over in 2012. The previous chairman had just had twins and kind of let it go a little bit. I came back here in 2012 just as he was leaving. Well, I remember when I started following Villa and coming here and you guys kind of taking me in and, and showing me the way. This is one of the best clubs that we have in the States. Done a pretty good job here. And it's not just myself, it's everybody else that helps to rally the people around. And at, at one point, we were the biggest uh, supporters club in North America. But I think that mantle's now been taken by Toronto. It was so fun seeing everyone from, like you said, Toronto, Chicago, but also all the other Villa clubs around the USA during this summer tour. It's great. We have definitely over 40 clubs now in North America. I think the number is 44 or 45. So again, we've grown since 2012 when we first really started this thing off and keep growing pretty much every month. Who is your favorite villain of all time? Without question, Gary Shaw. He's still to this day one of my heroes and was fortunate enough to meet him a couple of years ago over at Villa Park. And yeah, he's a really stand up guy. For fans who don't have a local club, how should they get in touch? How, sh how can they become part of the Villa network? Firstly, recommend the North America Lions Facebook page. That's uh, probably the area that we have the most discussion. But if anybody wants to reach out to me, uh, my email address is avfcusa1000 at gmail.com. I'm more than happy to help anybody set up a club if they're interested. If there's one thing that you wanted to tell people around the world about Aston Villa, what would it be? They are the greatest club in the world. I took the words out of my mouth. Same thing. Nothing to add, nothing to add. The greatest club the world has ever seen. It's on the rise. They better be ready this season because Ashton Villa's coming. All my friends are Liverpool, Man U, Man City, Arsenal fans. Villa is something that is a project that Unai Emery is building for us. Like, it, it's different. You're building from the ground up. It's not like you're just hopping on a bandwagon. It's something different, it's something fun. You have a great connection with the team and the coach. It's the best team in the world. I and mean, that's what I tell people these days. I'm like, now is the time to jump on the bandwagon, but like, we didn't always have it the easy I'll way, I guess. Up, but, I'll yeah, not, not a household name. The, one of the best names in football, but not a household name. Yeah, I like, I was telling someone at the diner this morning and she's like, are you going to the crew game too? And I was like, for us, it's the Villa game. She's like, oh, I never heard of them. I was like yeah Aston Villa greatest football community on earth it's a it's truly is a family and if you support Villa you'll be treated like family wherever you're at best football club on earth up the Villa up the Villa up the Villa thank you footy fam a special thanks to the VIPs and ultras who are paid subscribers on the footy fam patreon this video wouldn't be possible without your support. If you wanna see your name in the credits and get other awesome perks like BTS content and more, make sure to subscribe via the link in the description. 